dear. Um, I just really don't know how much people are pushed into transplants in the Western world for cirrhosis and liver disease because survival rates are not very good for transplants. Huge. Over $500,000. It's all that you gotta take all these anti rejection drugs. You can't stimulate your immune system. You can focus on the The symptoms from anti rejection drugs and also the survival of your survival rate is not very good. You can get that kind of survival rate just from reducing your liver disease score. much better option than what my husband is trying to do is if you want to transplant, okay, you're like, alright, my organ's failing, I need, I need some help, I need some help from another human being, get a stem cell transplant, that's a transplant too, it counts as a transplant, it counts as a, a, a tissue graft, get a transplant from a umbilical cord, because then it's not going to stimulate rejection in your body, not going to stimulate immune rejection, and the cells do just go into your liver and start acting like liver cells, so we're doing a lot of research, I'm seeing, they also have a lot of effects on the immunology or, you know, like immunomodulatory effects on your liver and your body in general. And also, frankly, they can help and go maybe help heal some of the collateral damage from the liver disease because it can hurt your bones, brain, you know, pneumonia, the low calcium, and the stuff that builds up when your liver's not working, um, can hurt other parts of your kidneys. So the stem cells, you know, would, would go and help with that. So I think it's, you know, it makes sense. And, um, look at it, there's a whole lot of research on it. I'll try to post some of that below. There's tons. Of, if you know, it, if you just, you kind of have to have the right search terms. But like once you start looking at the papers, they lead you to other papers. And there are a lot of papers on it. Especially in China, they do a lot of research on regenerative medicine in China. Um, one thing they're doing right there, I guess. So. Uh, yeah, stem cell transplant uh, is, is what my husband wants to do rather than, because if you think about it, like, if you take your entire liver out, you can never go back to that, even if there's, like, some advance and, you, you know, now they know how to fix it, you don't have your liver back ever, it's, t it's trash, and then you got to deal with this rejection risk for the rest of your life with the transplant organ. I, mean, I get it, some people, they need something that extreme and that quick got to happen. But, you know, it's good that it's there for them who need it, but I think it's a matter where it's over-applied and just assumed everybody's going to have it. Everybody who has cirrhosis, they're like, well, okay, well, when you get your transplant or when the time comes for your transplant, it's like, what? Like, a lot of people, I can tell as well, are reversing it themselves back down to where they don't really have fibrosis or don't really have at least cirrhosis level. A lot of people are not even doing anything that extreme. They're just eating healthy and themselves and having coffee and stuff and so I, I do kind of expect my husband soon all this really intense herbal stuff in like the stem cells that he's probably going to reverse it pretty pretty well I'm hoping so um, let me just show a couple of the herbs that he's using and I'm using them too I use them for different reasons but this is an amazing herb it's really helping my injuries my chronic injury is Cardinella, but it's also really good for cirrhosis, it's good for deactivating hepatic stellate cells, 